So I'm going to be grilling some vegetables as well. And I have one of these um, grill pans that have a Teflon coating. What I need to do with this is I need to make sure it's really got some cooking oil on it. So, I mean, really, if you think it looks too much, probably isn't. Because I'm going to have to later put more olive oil on this. So I put a good amount of this on here, okay? And what I'm going to do is, because this is a cast iron one, I have to bring it to temperature. So here, at first, this burner on the front, I'm going to put to uh, light, and I'm going to put to, uh, what is it, like a high? In the middle between um, low and high for right now so that I can slowly warm this up. And as it gets hotter and hotter, then what I can do is I can turn it up for when my um, grilled vegetables are ready. Now I'm washing my vegetables as well, because you never know if you buy them on the street or you buy them in the grocery store, whether or not who's touched them. And if you're buying fruit on the street, do you really want to eat gas fumes and car fumes from Manhattan streets on your meal? I would probably guess not. Now I'm making some big cuts because I'm grilling this and it'll fall apart if I don't. So I'm taking out the core of the seeds, washing out the seeds, taking out some of the skin internally, and I'm continuing to cut these in bigger pieces. I also have a little red onion, which is also good. And you can really grill any kind of vegetable. I uh, like this medley I'm making today, but I also sometimes add fennel, which is really yummy when it's roasted on a grill or roasted in the oven. And I also really like zucchini, but my store this morning did not have any zucchini. S or I'm sorry, eggplant is what I really like, but I couldn't find any today. So I'm substituting with some extra vegetables. So I'm leaving this right into taking off the outer skin, and I'm leaving it in a chunk like this, okay? I'm just going to go like this. I'm probably going to just end up quartering this onion if my little non-sharp but sharp knife works. So I'll go like this, take the outer core off, and I'm pretty good to go. You want to cut off that root end. So I'm going to leave these on side as well. Next, I'm going like my carrot. And when you think about grilling or roasting vegetables, again, you have to be organized and you have to prioritize. Because guess what's going to cook longer? Uh, you guessed it. It's going to be the carrot. The eggplant will take a Eggplant and zucchini have a lot of water in them, so they're not going to be as long to cook. Now, I'm cooking, cutting these carrots lengthwise. And I hope to cut all my vegetables lengthwise. Please take my olive oil and thank you guys for helping me out and just drizzle around my vegetables and make sure they're sort of covered. And then when I put these on this grill, you can hear it sizzle a little because it's getting warm. I have a hot grill. So I'm kind of ordering them up so it's easier. So you can hear those vegetables starting to sizzle on the grill. The other things I'm going to do here is I'm going to do repeat what I did with my zucchini, uh, what I do with my carrots, what I do with my peppers and onions, and again, my onion is a little bit more dense, okay? I'm going to put that there, and I like a crunchy onion. Got some olive oil on that, we'll put that there. And then all of these vegetables, for the most part, are really fast cookers. So I'm just going to go like this, move it around, make sure they've got some olive oil on them. If you like some salt and pepper, so that's always good to add. And I just keep turning them until they're nice and ready. Now it's kind of hard if you don't have tongs to do this well um, because it gets hot over this grill pan. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to wash my bowl. I'm at somebody else's house. So I'm going to make sure my dishes are clean and get this all perfect because I need to use this bowl for another task. And the task is carrots, raisins, a little mayo, and you can always go slow on the mayo at first. You can always add more. And then some people like to add cumin, which gives it a nice sort of flavor. 
so that you actually get layered texture and sort of more of a um, South Asian flair, I guess. So I bought shredded carrots, but you could certainly shred them on your own if you're so talented. Um, and I smell my vegetables getting nice and hot. Today I'm just making a little bit of carrot salad. I'm going to check on this, and my pot holder is here. Yeah, so we're going quite well here. And if you turn over, we've got veggies that are starting to singe on the bottom, which is fine. They are starting to really... It's the peppers that's causing the flashing. Okay? See how nice that is? And I'm going to turn this down. And, you know, you don't have to be precise. Look how nice that looks. And, you know, grilled vegetables can be andante. You know, they can have a little bit of firmness to them. Um, what you don't want is when you roast them, if you're going to roast them in the oven, to be mushy, 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 mushy. Because sometimes if you over-roast your vegetables, they're mushy. <coughs> Today I'm grilling. I'm at the 20-minute mark. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm putting in my pot pie. Oh, look at that. I got a pot pie in here, and I got my apple crisp just to cook in. I'm back to my carrot salad. I've got carrots. I've got raisins. I'm putting in some mayo. And as I said earlier with the mayo, uh, you can always add more later. So I'm going to do this and go like this and just put a dollop in and eyeball it depending on how much carrot you have. Well, as I said earlier, some people put cumin in it um, and other spices to give it a, an extra flavor. And what I'm doing today is just mixing up something really, really easy. You don't want it overly mayo-ish. And for better health, it's better to buy the lower fat um, mayonnaise uh, of your choice, however, whichever kind of mayonnaise you like, um, whether it's Hellman's or Miracle Whip or Duke's if you live in the South. Um, so essentially what I have just done in a very few minutes, uh, I think we've got ourselves at about 25 minutes, 20 minutes, is a nice carrot salad and it's really quite tasty. Okay. Well, I'm putting together a plate here. So we've got some cranberry sauce. We have our nice carrot and raisin salad. We have some beautiful roasted vegetables. And take a look at this tray. It looks really beautiful in terms of our vegetables. Nice marks on the grill. And now, I believe, our turkey pot pie is done. And by the time Pop TV gets done eating it, I'm sure that my crisp will be done. So look how nice this is. And I put a couple forks in there just to test to see if the soup is really hot underneath. And it is hot underneath. So I'm going to put it here safely. And I'm going to center my crisp in the middle again just to keep that thing going. And here we have a nice turkey pot pie. It's going to be a little soupy on the bottom because that's exactly what it is. And these things never really come out beautiful. So we're going to go like this. And put it in here. And then we like a little bit more of our insides to come over here. And so today we have made a pretty nice little feast. We have our easy turkey pot pie, cranberry sauce, carrot salad, some nice roasted grilled vegetables, and soon we'll be having our blueberry pear, apricot, and cranberry tart, which is really like an apple crisp. So, bon appetit. Oh, it's blueberry crisp time. And you can see, you still see some of the flour mixture. You know, you really can't burn this, so you could continue to cook this if you like, nice and brown and crispy, but don't let that sugar burn. And always remember to turn your stoves off and check the knobs. This is done. You can see the pears. They're nice and, and, and soft. you got blueberries in there. So it's time to try some dessert. And it looks really yummy. So hang in there. Have a great Thanksgiving recess pace.